stand in recess until the call of the chair. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst sat just feet away as staffers alerted Oklahoma's James Langford that rioters were charging into the U.S. Capitol building back on January 6th. More than 100 members of law enforcement got injured during that insurrection. The attackers threatened to assassinate Vice President Mike Pence and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi during the protest of the November election. Senator Ernst sat down to reveal to our political director Dave Price today what she was thinking as her cell phone buzzed with text messages from worried friends that day. I'm assuming you don't know what's happening, do you, at this point? I, I did shortly after okay. that um, because Senator Lankford was speaking. Everyone was receiving text messages that rioters had broken into the Capitol building. And I did have a friend that was watching the proceedings on TV that said, Joni, he said, I saw your eyes were going back and forth. You were scanning the chamber. And he said, I knew there was something going on um, just by the way you looked. Well, well that's what I was yeah. going to ask you. Sorry to interrupt you. But mm -hmm. you are, as a trained member of the National Guard, mm -hmm. do you, I would assume you view this a little differently as if you were just a citizen senator who had never had any kind of that background. I mean, don't you have some instincts that are kind of kicking in? from your National Guard training? Yes, but I, I can tell you it's it was a terrifying experience, but at the same time, of course, with my training, I'm not the one in control in that chamber. It is the sergeant at arms. Um, they know the proper evacuation routes. They know the emergency responses. So the best thing to do in that situation is to remain calm and wait for orders coming from the Capitol Police and the Sergeant at Arms. Because when we are in that chamber, we can't see visually what's going on and where those rioters are. And the way I've described it to other people too is that you could hear the shouts echoing through the various hallways of the Capitol, I couldn't really tell at that point where those rioters were, what door they were outside. So the important thing is just to remain calm, take your orders, follow those orders. So we did that. We had to wait until Capitol Police had cleared an exit for us and a way for us to safely get through the tunnels and into our, our designated safe spot. What's Donald Trump's future in the party? You know, I still think that he will some way or another be a player with the Republican Party, but I don't know what that is, and he will, he will have to make those decisions on what it is. But as we're looking towards the future of the Republican Party, I think we have a really bright future. And it, if you look around at some of these extraordinary leaders that we have that are up and coming, there's going to be a lot of competition for the race in 2024. I'm just excited to see how it unfolds. And you're not in it. No, said. no, Dave. <laughs> you know there was talk that, hey, would you look at this? Um, you know, I, again, my commitment is to the United States Senate, and I love the work I do for the people of Iowa, and I'm, I'm very happy doing what I do. You can see more of Dave's interview with Senator Ernst on this week's edition of The Insiders. Catch it Sunday morning at 930 right here on WHO 13.